perfect balance. Savage with the lead. Hey, what's up guys, and thanks for joining us again. Today we have a new video just showing a big WWF figure collection that I recently got from a house clearance. Um, there was only one picture to go on from the house clearance and I didn't have time to request more or attend to have a look at what was actually in it. Um, as you can see though, straight away, there's one figure bottom left that has already sparked my interest. This guy is called Ludwig Borger. And he's from series 11. And he is quite a hard one to get. Um, whether the people selling this knew or whether it was just luck that he fell out, I'm not sure. He is kind of stood up, so maybe somebody knew that he was uh, a valuable one or more sought after. But anyway, it's a good sign when um, you see a figure like that in a collection like this. Now, the guy selling this item only actually provided one picture, whereas really the ideal situation would have been all the figures were laid out so you could see exactly what you were getting. However, it's great for me because I love stuff like this. When you get a picture like this, I will put it on Canva and I'll be able to zoom in on the picture in a little bit more detail and see what's in the background, what's hidden. And I was able to see loads of figures um, that weren't that obvious if you were to just look at this picture um, without a great vintage toy knowledge. Now's a really good time to get involved. And if you would like, pause the video and let me know what you can spot in this collection and write in the comments before you go forward. i would be interested to see what um, other people spot in this collection. Um, Kamala obviously is next to Ludwig. He's not a super expensive figure, but he's a little bit more than the standard ones. Um, I also spotted Owen Hart, Shawn Michaels, Scott Steiner. Um, there's a Razor Ramon, you can just about make out his knees in the top bits. You've got a Yoko Zuna. You have a Giant Gonzalez. And you can also just about make out Brett the Hitman Hart's leg there too. Some easier ones are obviously Nails. Uh, you've got Crush, you've got Jake the Snake and his snake. And some other sort of quite popular ones that aren't so hard to get. I thought it was a pretty good collection and here's the unboxing now. So as you can see, it came in a large box and initially I was really impressed with the packing because the large box was surrounded in the like shredded cardboard stuff, good for padding. And then there was another box inside the big box, which again is really good for sending expensive items. Um, now, when you open that box, there's more padding and so bubble wrap. So I was thinking, wow, this is a really professional job. Um, however, there was a little bit of a letdown because as you can see, when we actually open the box, all the figures have just been mashed in. And if you've got really expensive figures like the Ludwig one, then there's such a risk of, you know, a finger breaking or something like that. So it could have been a little bit better, but the box inside the box is a really good example of how to pack um, expensive items. If they'd have padded it with the figures out with cling film, it would have been better. Um, it's obviously a long job. To do that but if you're packing that many things in it really shouldn't happen. So there's Rowdy Roddy Piper, Owen Hart and Jimmy Superfly. Um, there's uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Um, so obviously didn't know the hot rod was in there so that's really good. Um, Ric Flair who's, <laughs> who's a great character, um, didn't know he was in there, he's a really good one. And the Giant Gonzalez. It was really sad when Owen Hart passed away in that accident. I remember um, hearing about that when I was a kid. That was that really sad. He was a pretty awesome one. Uh, we got one of the Bushwhackers. I can't remember what his name is. And we have got, he is a Spanish one, Matador. That was his name. And then we've got Nails. And that's Marty Gennetti. Nails was the arch nemesis of uh, the big boss map on the big fight when I was a young guy. And we got one of the uh, Hawk from Legion of Doom is that? And we got Hulk Hogan. I think the Legion of Doom one was um, one that I couldn't see as well, so that's a good one. And we've got 
Mark Vashango. I didn't know um, he was in there, so he was a good find. And then we've got that one's Warlord. And then um, the model Rick Moranis, I think his name was. I wasn't a massive fan of the toy line, but I do remember some from um, my little brother had quite a few. And then you've got Jake the Snake and the Snake. Um, we've got um, IRS and Tacid Justice or Lex Luger. IRS, the tax man. I just thought that was a terrible figure. What do you think? And they just keep coming. Um, we have got, I can see the Mountie and the Honky Tonk Man. He has a guitar, so fingers crossed his guitar's in there. And then we've got Crush, he's a good one, a um, little less common. And the Mountie. The condition of the figures looks really good. The paint works looking good on all of them. And that's uh, Ricky Steamboat something, I remember his name. Um, oh, that might be Lex Luger, actually. I can't remember his name. Uh, Doink the Clown, he's a good one. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Really testing my memory. I can see Sergeant Slaughter. He's really easy because he was one of the... An earthquake. Sergeant Slaughter was one of the ones that um, crossed over to G.I. Joe, another toy line as well. I'm not sure what that one is called. I know him, the Repo Man. And another Bushwhacker. Uh, Texas Tornado, I think that one is. And he's a good one, Rick Steiner and Shawn Michaels and the Nasty Boys. They're quite easy because they always have the logo written on their shirts. And Yokozuna. And we've got Typhoon. Um, Mr. Perfect. Him and Ric Flair always used to be kind of the bad guys who team up. And Macho Man, awesome. And we've got Brett the Hitman Hearts, and we've got the Ludwig figure who's quite hard to get, and the other nasty boy. And they just keep coming. So we've got the British Bulldog there, we've got the Berserker, we've got the Undertaker. That's Razor Ramon, just saw his legs. Doink the Clown has clearly had a haircut, unfortunately. You can spot him just about in the top left. You can see a number of um, figures, obviously, you couldn't see from that initial picture. So, you know, like Ric Flair, British Bulldog, Earthquake, Typhoon, Papa Shango, Jim, the Anvil Needheart, and the Skinner. So here are all the figures laid out in all of their glory. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of figures. Um, there are 57 in total. Now, when I was doing my calculations, I could only see around 40. So extra 17 is really good. Some of the mechanisms won't work. It's always the case in a big collection like this. Um, but the condition is fantastic. Normally these figures have a lot of paint wear from where they've been wrestled as um, toys. But these are really, really good figures. Um, some of them have got their accessories, like the Honky Tonk Man. The Berserker has got his cape, but it's a bit damaged. Um, Ricky Steamboat's got um, his part as well. Now, for me, the highlights of this collection were obviously Ludwig. Um, you've got some other really good figures as well, such as um, Rick Steiner, Series 9, Razor Ramon, Series 7. Fortunately, he didn't have his uh, medallion necklace, but never mind. Uh, Giant Gonzalez is also included. Um, you've got the Honky Tonk Man with his guitar, you've got Jake the Snake with his snake. You've got Crush, Yokozuna, Owen Hart, Ric Flair. There are just so many figures in this collection, it's great. I'm going to add a video at the end just doing a bit of a close-up on each of the figures so you get to see every single one. Um, please like and subscribe, it helps our channel hugely. I really am happy that you've watched our video and thank you to our current subscribers, it's really appreciated. Have a great weekend.